Aloha. We're here in Hawaii at Waikiki Beach, the most well-known beach in the world. Every year, millions of visitors come here to enjoy the surf, the sand, and of course, the sun. For these visitors, the sun means getting a tan or being warm on a winter getaway. And for some, it just means enjoying a day at the beach. For Hawaiian Electric and our subsidiaries, Maui Electric and Hawaii Electric Light Company, the sun is about how these remote Pacific islands can help us reach our renewable energy goals. With 90% of our primary energy coming from imported oil, including not just transportation but electricity, we must do all we can to reduce that dangerous dependence. In 2008, the Hawaiian Electric Companies joined the State of Hawaii and the U.S. Department of Energy in the Hawaii Clean Energy Initiative. 70% of our energy will come from clean sources by 2030, that includes transportation and electricity. 30% will be through energy efficiency and conservation, plus perhaps the highest RPS in the nation, 40% just 20 years from now. How will we do all this? Switching from oil to biofuels will play a role. So will wind, waste to energy, hydro, and ocean power and geothermal on the younger islands in the Hawaiian chain, the Big Island, and perhaps Maui and capturing the direct power of the sun will play a major role in keeping the lights on for the million people who call Hawaii home and the many millions more who visit us every year. The best way to tell you how we are keeping solar energy a centerpiece of our clean energy future is to have some members of the Hawaiian Electric team tell you themselves. Hawaii has long been a national leader in solar water heating with more units per capita than anywhere else in the country. Today, one in four single-family homes in Hawaii has a solar water heating unit, mostly due to available promotion and rebates. The Solar Electric Power Association also recognized Hawaii's four utilities as being in the top 10 in the nation for solar watts per customer, and we intend to keep it that way. Last year, in 2010, number of net energy metering installation we approved double that in 2009. At the same time, we're working hard to bring electric vehicles to Hawaii and make the ownership experience the best that it can be. Electric vehicles will help us bring more renewable energy onto our grids. Wind power, certainly, but also distributed solar. In 1996, Hawaiian Electric operated a green pricing program called Sun Power for Schools. It's a three-way partnership between the Hawaii State Department of Education and our customers. To date, we installed 55 kilowatts of demonstration PV systems on 35 schools on the islands. Hawaiian Electric also assisted in developing educational curriculum as part of the Sun Power for Schools program. Hawaiian Electric Company has offered its customers a net energy metering option since 2001. Participation in the program has grown steadily, and six months ago, we added a feed-in tariff program to give our customers more opportunities to install renewable energy on their homes and businesses and sell power to the utility. Two tiers are in operation, and we are awaiting regulatory approval of the third tier. Local businesses like Resort Apparel designer and manufacturer Tori Richard have been amongst the first to take advantage of the feed-in tariff. Tori Richard already has a net energy metering system and will soon be installing a new PV system to be connected under the FIT. Distributed solar generation is an important part of our renewable energy program, but at the same time we're working hard to install utility scale PV to our system. While these projects may seem small by mainland standards, given our small isolated island grids, we are really pushing the envelope in terms of how much PV we install in our system. We currently have two solar farm projects awaiting commission approval with plans to be in commercial operation next year. And we have many more PV projects currently awaiting contracts in our purchase power pipeline. To help us find solutions that will enable us to integrate more renewable energy, Hawaiian Electric has forged many partnerships to conduct research and demonstration projects. For example, we're engaged in energy storage projects with the State Energy Office, University of Hawaii, the Electric Power Research Institute, and the United States Department of Energy and Department of Defense. We're also participating in two smart grid projects on the island of Maui, one with the University of Hawaii and Department of Energy, and the other under Hawaii-Japan partnership. 
And here at one of Hawaiian Electric's distribution substations on Oahu, we're partnering with the University of Hawaii's Hawaii Natural Energy Institute on a battery energy storage project. We want to investigate how substation sited energy storage can help manage voltage fluctuations caused by distributed PV. This project also leverages the work we're doing with SMUD to investigate high PV penetration. Promoting solar energy is not just about research and studies. We're here at the Hawaii State Art Museum, which is located in, in an old YMCA building in downtown Honolulu. The old pool area is going to be turned into a beautiful sculpture garden. And at the far end, there's going to be a canopy to provide shade over those bleachers. That canopy is a joint project of Hawaiian Electric Company, the museum, and the Independent Hawaii Solar Energy Association. The canopy is going to be covered with beautiful glass depicting a Hawaiian fish, but interspersed in the colored glass will be silicon cells that will produce solar energy. And there is going to be an informational area which will explain to them that PV can be both beautiful and practical, and it will serve as an educational opportunity as folks visit the museum and enjoy the sculpture garden. Here at the Hawaiian Electric Companies, we've initiated a number of efforts in order to help us reliably integrate high penetrations of PV on our grids. Some of these tools include the Locational Value Map, which is a visualization tool that has helped our distribution planners track and trend the growth of PV resources on our distribution levels. At the same time, we've utilized this tool to better communicate to the developers and customers of areas that have major impact and potential impact on our grids. We've also enlisted the help of our customers through the SunSpotters program by collecting real-time data from the PV systems at the local area. We now have the ability to accurately model and predict the impact of PV penetration at the distribution level, thereby reducing the sources of error and allowing for more renewable generation onto the distribution circuits. Earlier this year, families moved into a demonstration housing project we collaborated on, a self-sustaining community. Based on Native Hawaiian principles and philosophies, the project aims for net zero energy use. Hawaii's very, very serious about getting off of oil. Um, our economy, our people uh, are way too dependent on a, on, a, on a commodity whose pricing and availability is going to continue to be a problem and probably a growing problem in the years to come. In the, in, in the great campaign, the great cause to, to get us off of oil, solar's really in the vanguard. You know, solar's here, solar's ready. Um, we have a great local industry that's already producing uh, record kind of numbers and we really are counting on solar to, to lead the way as we look at the other resources Hawaii can use, geothermal and biomass and biofuels and wind farms, uh, all good and all important and, and all things we can bring along. Uh, but for today, for this year and next year and the next few years, there's no question we're counting on solar to really lead us uh, significantly away from oil.